What's up guys? I just recently got home from about two weeks of traveling. I was in California for Monterey Car Week and then LA and then Arizona. And exciting news, I bought myself a condo. Um, I'll do a full home tour when I'm a little bit more settled in. I've got a little bit of organization to do, some furniture to buy. I'm currently in the garage right now. We've got the Gladiator outside. The R7 lives in the garage. It's just a one car, but it's pretty spacious. I'm really happy with this. I'm really excited about it for myself. In other news, we've got this. This is the Cove Commuter. It's a Bluetooth speaker that Cove sent out. And so far, I've been really impressed with it. It's Bluetooth. It's got over six hours of battery life per charge. Uh, I took it with me to actually to California and Arizona and used it. It's been great. I was uh, actually using it in this garage when I was washing my car. At home, I've got like a Bowers and Wilkins for my, uh, lit my room. I've got a Vizio soundbar for the TV. I've used Sonos before. In the garage, I was using the Cove, and I was really impressed. It's got two different modes for the bass, so it has a subwoofer built in for a portable speaker. That's very, very cool. On the top here, you link your phone to it. You can change the volume with this like toggle rotating switch. Swipe back and forth to change things. Um, and talking about the bass modes, I had it sitting on that shelf back there, playing music, and my phone and my key fob were just sitting here and here, and I'm out there washing my car, and all of a sudden I hear like two noises and I look back and it had vibrated my phone and my key fob off the shelf onto the ground. Thankfully they're all okay. But this thing is really impressive. It's got uh, Bluetooth 4.2 is the new protocol. It's water resistant, so you can have it like near your pool. Um, it can, it's like splash proof, but just don't dunk it in the pool. You can see the cover for the audio jack and the charging cable. There's a cover on it, so it is water resistant. I like it a lot. It's uh, I definitely used it. I traveled a lot when I was with it. I've uh, used it in the garage. When I'm out here washing the car, check out the link below for the Cove Commuter. Use the code EDDIEX for 65% off. In some RS7 related news, I've got some updates for you guys. The modifications are about to begin. Up to this point, I've kind of been just bringing it up to the spec that I'm happy with. So paint protection on the entire front end of the car, tents on the car, fixing up some minor issues with the carbon fiber. Now I have this. This is the seat, CT seat? I think it's called seat. It's a lo lowering module. So my RS7 is on air suspension from the factory, which means you can control the ride height. From the factory, it's linked to the drive modes from uh, performance and stuff. It'll lower and vent the car out slightly. With this seat air module or control module, it plugs into the CAN bus in the back. So I gotta get that installed. I have an app that I can control the ride height and then it can also link it to the drive modes. Uh, you can actually use VACOM VCDS to also lower the car. Some people combine both of them to get it even lower. But I think my plan is I'm going to install this, show you guys how it's installed. So if you have an air suspension equipped um, Audi, you can use that. I think they have some other vehicle compatibilities, but I just know about the Audi specifically. And then I will have my comfort mode still be my stock ride height when I'm driving on the freeway, if I need to go over a bump or something. And then I can lower the performance, or I can lower dynamic mode into the performance drive height. And then I can also completely vent it out. So when I'm parked, I can, uh, be one of those guys who slams the cars, but it looks really cool because of my other modification. Um, not sort of a mod, uh, but the, the full vent system is not going to look like, I don't know, something on like Airlift or Acura where the frame is touching the ground. It can't quite do that, but it is fully venting the factory bags and will look pretty low. The other thing I got are some new wheels. So the factory on the RS7 are 21 inch wheels, 21 by, 21 by 9? 21 by 9. And I have a couple, uh, I think I can show you guys on the other side. Our Michigan roads suck. I swear the surface of the moon is probably smoother. But, as yeah, you can see right there, a little bit of a bend. It's hit potholes. When I bought the car, the rear two already had some bends to it. So I got a little bit of vibration at speed. It's, I mean, you're running 21 inch wheels without much sidewall. And I really like having a comfortable ride on my daily driver, which is part of why I picked the RS7. I went down to 20 inch wheels. A lot of people do it. I went wider, 20 by 10 ET35. Um, in the future, when I get upgraded 21 wheels, I'll hopefully get 21 by 10.5 ET35 or something even more aggressive with the offset. But 20 by 10 ET35, I got some Brixton's, not the crazy fancy forged ones. I can't quite afford that because I bought a condo, so I don't have money for that much yet. Um, I also have some new tires coming. Those are winter tires stacked in the corner. I've got summer 21s on. Uh, I've got some 20 inch tires coming that I'll be running. There'll be a video about that. But that's about to happen, this visual aesthetic stuff. Honestly, honestly with the eyes, you can get some hate, but the R7 is really fast. 
I could tune it, but I have a warranty, so I have a two-year warranty left on it. I don't want a TD1 flag the car. Yeah, I'm going to sound like blah, 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 but it's plenty fast. If I want a really, really fast car, I'll save up and go buy a McLaren or a Lamborghini or a supercar or something. I, I just I can't, I can't seem to get myself to void it because, again, this is my daily driver. Um, it's still great. I love this thing. I'll probably do an exhaust. But those are the updates with the RS7. Really pushing hard. We're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos and hopefully weekend ones too. But guaranteed Monday, Wednesday, Friday is what I'm striving to achieve. The videos coming out soon are going to be pretty cool. Enjoy my time with the Gladiator. You guys will have to watch for that video very soon. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.